scared. Okay, go. Oh. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Crinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had traveled to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary's fiance, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no one in the hostel. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I am here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has been born in David's town. A savior is Messiah and Master. This is what you're to look for. A baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth, on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves where God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger, seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child, all who heard the shepherds were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear to be within herself. The shepherds returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told.